I'm Mo. It is June 2022 and it's time to check in with our 2022 goals. Every year I make goals towards the end of the previous year, towards the beginning of the new year, and I posted a goals video in January. Today I went back and I looked at that goals video to see what my actual goals were. You can find that listed down below and you can also find the reading goals tag originally created by Rosie Kaksha, which I did recently as well, and I will list that in the description box too. My goals for 2022 actually weren't that different than I imagined them to be. I feel like sometimes when I do these check-in goal videos, I'm a little bit like taken by surprise. I'm like, oh, there was a bunch of goals on there I totally forgot about. But today I didn't really forget about any of my reading goals. There were some channel goals that I like knew in the back of my head, but I also knew I wasn't concentrating on. So we're gonna talk about all those today and we're gonna start with reading goals. So we'll talk about the goals, how I'm doing on them, and then if I'm changing them or if I'm continuing them for the rest of 2022. My reading goals for 2022 were to read 75 books. I pick a number goal each year. I've done this kind of all my life. Most of my life I was happy if I read one book a month and then I would sometimes read a lot more than that, sometimes read less, but since starting booktube and since discovering Goodreads, I have picked a number goal and it has steadily gone up. So my goal was to read 75 books and at the time of filming in June, I'm hovering around 60. So I'm definitely going to meet this goal. I know a lot of people will change their number goal, will up their number goal, but I don't do that. If I surpass my number goal at any point in the year, I just keep it as it is and just see how much I surpass it by. Last year in 2021, my number goal was 65 books for the year and I ended up reading 95 books in 2021. So this year we'll see how many above 75 I end up reading. My next goal was to read more diversely and this had to do with reading books by people of color, reading books by indigenous authors, reading books from several different countries specifically, and then also just reading books that have stories that are different from from my own. So different countries, different people, different types of people, different jobs, etc, etc. Reading more diversely also had to do with reading more diverse genres. So one genre that I really wanted to read more of in 2022 was romance. I think I'm doing really well with that goal and while I think this will always be a goal for me, I think it has also become routine. I definitely routinely pick up queer books and books by black authors books by Asian authors, people of color, books by authors of different countries, whether those be backlist or new books. And I'm also reading a lot of different genres already in 2022. I'm reading more romance. I'm reading more horror. I'm reading more modern classics of a different ilk than I would normally read. So more modern classics from countries and authors that are unfamiliar to me, which I love modern classics, so reading modern classics from other places is great. I also specifically said that I wanted to read more works by indigenous people, both American and Canadian indigenous people, but indigenous people from other places as well. And I have done that a little bit, not much, but I'm glad that I looked at these goals so that I can kind of keep that fresh in my mind. The four countries that I really wanted to read from this year were Canada. I have read at least one Canadian author this year. Nigeria, I read one book by a Nigerian author so far this year. Australia, I have read one book by an Australian author this year. And the Caribbean, and I am currently reading a book by a Caribbean author, so I'm excited for that. I have a few more on my TBR. I would definitely like to continue to read books by authors from those countries, and I've been reading a lot of African authors this year, so I definitely want to add that in there 
more. Uh, another reading goal, which is sort of a reading goal, sort of not that I have, was to keep track of my recently acquired books. Now I have been keeping pretty good track of my recently acquired books. I have a fancy spreadsheet that I use and I have been filming recently acquired books videos each month to keep on track and keep track of the books that are coming into the house. Part of that goal was to acquire less books than I did in 2021 and I definitely don't think that that is happening. Now I have no record of books that I acquired in 2021, but this definitely feels like I'm acquiring more. Maybe that's just because I'm keeping track of them, I don't know. But I am keeping up with that goal, and July is going to be the month that I show you my spreadsheet, tell you how many books I've gotten this year so far, tell you how much money I've spent on those books, and kind of check in with my recently acquired books project. The last goal for reading was just to keep up with my love of a reading, and I definitely think that reading helps my mental health and it helps me just stay focused and feel good and creative and involved in something other than the boring and the mundane days of life. So I have definitely kept up with that. I definitely still love reading. I think if anything maybe I'm reading a little bit too much and maybe I'm not engaging as fully as I could be with some books. I think part of that has to do with volume of books but I think that also has to do with how we critically think of books and how I critically think of books. That could be something to think about in the last six months of the year or potentially for 2023. On to my channel goals. The first channel goal was to grow more and my idea was that I don't really need a number but I would like to grow more rapidly. Now this is a goal, but I don't actually have any say over this or any actual influence. The only thing that I can do is try to keep a consistent schedule, which I have, haven't done. I think I'm fairly consistent and I do think that I've made some videos that people seem to like and so I want to continue to do that and ideally hopefully I will continue to grow and at a more rapid rate. But part of the other thing was to engage with my community more and I'm trying to do that. It's a little bit hard. I feel like every couple of weeks or every month I feel rejuvenated to make comments and then I'll get into kind of a slump where I'm not watching as much booktube so it's hard to comment on other people's or I can't catch up with comments on my own videos so there's some things that I feel like I could do and that kind of leads to the next goal which is join reading sprints and have a reading sprint so my goal for 2022 was to join at least one reading sprint and participate in a reading sprint and then also to have a reading sprint on my channel. So I've sort of kind of tinkered with looking at reading sprints, but I haven't actually like sat down and joined one yet and I haven't actually like participated in one by like sharing what I was reading or making comments or anything like that. So that is definitely a goal out of my comfort zone. Hopefully I will eventually get there and then I still would really like to have a reading sprint on my channel and see how that works for me, see if I enjoy that and see how it goes from there. Next channel goal was to have varied videos. So in 2021, I made quite a few zero waste videos, sustainability videos, and I have made some videos like that in 2022, but I have been more focused on specifically booktube videos. But I think I have added very varied videos into my rotation because I do have some sustainability videos. I do have some like more vloggish videos that have a little bit more to do with my life, which was part of my goals in the last goal video that I watched today. Slow living is something that I haven't really touched on that much, which I would really like to. I would like to do a video about the service industry and about like career and kind of my feelings on that. I would like to maybe do do a service industry career timeline of what I've done and maybe put it out to the community of what they would like to know about the service industry or 
having a career in the service industry because I do think that I've done a lot of jobs in that particular industry and it's something that's very close to my heart. It is my career. It is absolutely worthwhile and important. So maybe you have questions or you know someone who has questions that would like to know more about that. I would definitely like to do more zero waste and what zero waste means to me because zero waste has become kind of like a dirty word and or a dirty phrase. It kind of has gotten distorted over the years, so I think those would be fun videos to make. I would like to do more videos on New Jersey in general because I think New Jersey is like a really interesting place. And I think people have a really bad opinion of it or bad idea of what it is, but New Jersey is beautiful and amazing. So those are all some varied videos that I would like to do, but I am happy with what I have accomplished so far in the first six months of 2022. One of the things that I was going to do to make varied videos and one goal that I had was to do 30 day challenges and that really hasn't happened. I've been focusing on other things. It's not that there are not 30 day challenge ideas that I have or that I would really like to do. There are, but I don't know if in my life right now with my work schedule and my filming schedule I could really fit that in. Another type of video that I wanted to make and was one of my goals was to do more interviews interviews and I have been thinking about that more. I have an interview that I still haven't posted. I think I would like to do more of those but it just means interacting with other people and I just haven't been you know haven't been all about that and haven't really gotten myself together to do that yet this year. Another channel goal was to be more comfortable and I think that that actually has happened. I don't know if it's because I've been filming more or because I've been filming more varied videos, videos that aren't just sit down videos like this, even though I love this type of video. I have become more comfortable in just having the camera around and filming on the fly and talking about my ideas. So I think that that is in a good place. I don't necessarily share everything with YouTube, which I'm never going to share everything, everything, but I think I do a good job of being truthful when I'm here and being true to myself, but I could always do more and give more of myself so that I can receive more. I, another goal was to just become a better booktuber, so better at editing, better at filming, better at speaking on camera, and I see that happening a little bit. I think it's something that I would really have to be on just myself and practice to become a much better filmer, I would have to take maybe some classes or try some really wild things that I might need help with accomplishing. And to become a better editor, same thing. I think maybe a course or a class online would be really helpful for that. As far as talking to the camera and not stumbling over my words, that is probably something that I could do myself and I could certainly script my videos, but that kind of goes against the first part for me. I'm not a scripted person. I'm not a person who's going to write down what I'm going to say. So sometimes I am going to stutter or I am going to have a long pause or I am going to say and a lot of times. So I think that that's kind of my natural being. So I don't know if getting over that would negate me being myself. The last channel goal that I had for 2022 was to just continue really enjoying booktube and I really really do. It's something that I have come to enjoy creating, talking to the camera, reading for, thinking about. It's something that I like to schedule and plan. Like one of the things that I really enjoy about it is trying to stay on that schedule, trying to get ahead in videos, trying to fit everything in. I make a lot of like lists of videos that I'm going to make or calendars of videos that I'm going to make. Not that they always work out that way, but I really enjoy that aspect of it, like the puzzle piece aspect of it, as well as the filming and talking and of course as well as the community. There could always be more community participation on my part and I could participate more in the booktube world as well as I hope that this channel grows and I hope that more community comes here and has questions for me and I can help any community members or inspire. That sounds really like big and grand but just brighten someone's day, just help them enjoy booktube, help them start a booktube if that's something that they want 
want to do or feel confident enough to do that. So those were all the goals that I had for 2022. I think I'm going to keep all those goals. I'm definitely still going to read 75 books this year. I'm not going to up that and I'm well on my way so I will probably surpass it. I'm going to continue to think about reading diversely. I'm going to continue to read indigenous work from people in the Americas and other countries. I definitely still want to read work by Canadian, Nigerian, Caribbean, and Australian authors, and I want to add in there Africa as well. So those are five um, groupings of countries. Africa's not just one country, Africa's a lot of countries, and so is the Caribbean. The Caribbean has lots of distinct culture, heritage, and countries to explore through reading. Those five areas of the world I definitely want to concentrate on. I'm still going to keep track of all my recently acquired books and stay tuned in July to really catch up on that and see how I organize keeping track of my recently acquired books. And I'm going to keep up my love of reading. I don't think I'm going to slow down this year because I am at the speed that I'm at, but we'll see if by the end of this year, slowing down might be a goal to have. As far as my channel, I hope to continue to grow and to have community and share community with everyone out there, both on my channels and on their channels. I definitely still want to join a reading sprint and have a reading sprint on my channel. And something that I've been toying with, which would be a new goal for the end of 2022, is to do a really small readathon. So I'm thinking about a readathon in September September that could encompass all of the other readathons. You would be able to work in books from other readathons. It would be like lots of prompts that books would fit into multiple prompts and you would have two to three days to read as many books and fulfill as many prompts as you could and then you would kind of lean towards one side or the other and I'm thinking of kind of a Jersey Shore beachy themed readathon. So if that's something that you might be interested in, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty excited about the idea, but I haven't fully formed it yet. But that is I think a goal for the end of this year. I'm going to scrap 30 day challenges this year and maybe that's something I will come back to in 2023. I'm also not going to pressure myself to do interviews for the end of 2022 because I don't see that happening just schedule wise. I have some stuff going on with work and my various jobs that I think are going to take even more of my time. So I'm not going to force myself to do something like interviewing people that requires a lot of time and effort and work. I'm just going to focus on trying to stay consistent with my posting schedule and my filming schedule and get lots of good videos and hopefully diverse videos as far as subject matter up on my channel for the rest of the year. I think that I'm going to continue being comfortable in front of the camera and try trying different things. I've been trying a couple different things with my wrap-ups, also my day in the lifes or vlogs, so I'm going to just try and continue to be comfortable and evolve my skills and evolve my style because style is one of the other aspects that I didn't talk about, but having a unique thumbnail or having a recognizable branding kind of was one of my goals. I think I have done better on that, but I'm just going to keep working on it for the last six months. Finally, I am going to continue to love booktube and I'm going to continue to participate as much as I possibly can and try to watch all y'all's videos and try to make videos and just try to enjoy myself here in this wonderful space. That was my goals check-in for the halfway mark of 2022. Let me know what was a goal that you created in the beginning of the year that you are doing well on and let me know a goal that you think you need to work on in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye!